We start the process of healing. We tell our stories. We hug each other. Communities have come together in prayer across America as they await word of their loved ones in Nepal, who are still unaccounted for after Saturday's earthquake. The death toll in Nepal now stands at more than 3,700. Sharon Banks, who lost contact with her daughter as she was hiking Mount Everest, says she had to endure the uncertainty of her daughter's fate for two days before receiving the news that she was safe. It's when you're in the United States and you have a child that's hurt or a loved one of any kind, you can get to them. But when they're in a foreign country, on Mount Everest, how do you find them? How do you know if they're alive? Now that she knows, Banks says she wants her daughter home again. I'm going to pay the helicopter if they'll go get her. But others are less fortunate. The fate of their loved ones is still unknown. Roads are jammed in Kathmandu, and rescue and recovery operations are still underway. So it may still be days before everyone is accounted for.